Welcome, stranger. You, you, you are now to, to, to tuned in. Tired of not knowing what your loved one wants? Don't know how to communicate your true feelings? Hi, I'm Teja Pradeshni, and this is a show about love, sex, intimacy, and relationships. Learn how to communicate better and bring back the romance in your life. This is Game Set Love. Welcome to another episode of Game Set Love where we explore all things love, dating and relationships. I'm your host Teja Priyadarshini, founder for Akashic Cosmic Healing, spiritual transformation coach and a psychic medium and also someone who dated a lot. Well, with that experience, today's going to be a very fun topic. We're going to be talking about how you can find your romantic partner. So if you are single and ready to mingle, how do you find that special someone? Before we jump into all of the places you can find the one, let us explore what it is that you're actually looking for. It is very important to understand the kind of person you really truly want to have in your life as your special someone. Oh yeah. Dating before COVID was so much easier, right? Like we could just bump into people and um, sparks would fly and then go out on a date and then explore things from there and probably end up getting married or in long-term committed relationships with one another. But after COVID, the whole dating scene has changed. We have so many challenges now, especially because of COVID and the lockdown period Many of us have become hermits. We like our caves. We like to be amongst the four walls and then virtually date every person we know on earth. We go on these dating apps, we go on virtual dating experiences. We talk to one another over, you know, Skype or WhatsApp or every other visual app that we have. But the human connection not so much we miss out on that human connection the touch the feel the smell the taste all of those things are so important as well so after covid it's become very difficult i feel most of us have become recluses we have uh, withdrawn into our shell and um, we tend to shy away from human interaction so much so that is why i felt it was very important to talk about dating in 2023 because dating before that was more or less you know pretty much straightforward but now we have so many dating apps everything has become virtual touch of a phone and like you know we are transported to another country we're talking to somebody else there are so many websites out there so many dating apps that we often get so frustrated and so confused and to top it all on all these online virtual dating apps and sites we are ghosted we are rejected you know all sorts of catfishing happens then how do we find that special someone when when all of this has become so irritating and so unrealistic okay now what well that is what we are here to talk about today though we have all of this incredible access to the rest of the world and we are able to meet all sorts of different people that we might not have met otherwise it is important to understand what we are looking for and that is why i asked you in the very beginning who do you want as your special someone the qualities of this person are very important yeah we get caught up with you know the height the weight the color the build everything of the person we want in our lives and we often focus so much on the physical attributes that we forget that the most important things are the qualities the character of the person the long term commitment that he or she can make towards you these are the important things so now let's talk about that for a while Sure the physical attraction is important I'm not denying that chemistry is everything you have to be physically attracted to this person what also matters is how this person is does this person share your same values has similar interests or has a compatible lifestyle what are their future goals their plans do they match with yours are you uh, good at communicating yourselves with each other all of these play a very important role So now that you're focused, I want you to do something very interesting. I want you to take a piece of paper and write down the 10 qualities you feel your partner should have. 
it could be kindness it could be that he's respectful um it could be that the person that you want in your life is very fun open is very energetic makes you feel like you are the most important person on earth makes you feel loved these are the things that you need to write down as the top 10 qualities they could be somebody who's kind to not only you but to others around them so next time you go out on a date observe the way they are treating the wait staff the way that they are communicating with them are they showing them respect kindness um are they smiling towards them are they angry scowling do they feel entitled all of these things are very very important you need to pay attention to these things because they can constitute as red flags now once you have this list it's important to hold every person you come across whether it's on a dating app or you've met them in person and hold them to this list and see if they have at least 9 out of those 10 qualities that you're looking for and it's important that on that list you have the qualities and also how they make you feel right that is important if they don't make you feel secure if they don't make you feel comfortable then again that's a huge red flag so make sure that there is a there's a good mix of the qualities and how they make you feel whoever you come across in your life next try to see if they match that list if they don't then quickly move on from that person don't waste too much time trying to get to know them no matter how attracted you are to them physically move on from them because you're wasting your time from finding the right person for you so move on don't waste too much time and once you find someone who matches at least 9 out of those 10 qualities then see if there is potential for growth if the other person is also equally interested in you and if they are committed enough to make this relationship works because darling it takes two to tango you cannot do it by yourself so once you find that right person then you take it forward from there you ask the right questions get to know them don't rush into anything spend enough time understanding where they come from what their future looks like for them what is the vision they have for themselves what are they passionate about all of these things are very very important so do not rush into anything Second thing is try and make the dates as fun as possible. If you are planning a date, plan fun dates where you can probably experience something, not just sitting around in a coffee shop and having those awkward silences. You can plan dates which are fun like probably going paintballing or hiking or trekking or even skating anything that involves a sport an activity an adventure something that can actually make you both feel like children enjoying themselves because at that moment when you look at your person you will understand where they're coming from what are their likes dislikes how do they behave when they're stressed you know do they uh, cope well with pressure uh, because you know suppose if you're in a panic room and you're you're trying to get out of that room how well do they cope under pressure will give you like a huge insight into their life into their mental well-being and also into you know what kind of a person they act actually ah do they get irritated fast do they shout do they scream what kind of a person they are will be very very clear and visible to you when you have these fun dates now let's address the elephant in the room rejection it is a part of dating and it's never easy but it's important to remember that rejection is not a reflection of your self worth as a person it simply means that the other person wasn't the right fit for you keep a positive attitude and keep putting your out there just because someone said no to you doesn't mean that it was a personal attack on how you are it just means that they did not vibe with you they they're not resonating with you know your thoughts or your ideas or your lifestyle and they probably want to explore something else let them go they're not the right fit for you the right person is out there so you have to keep putting yourself out there especially when you know that okay you've invested some amount of time in this person this person did not work out then you move on to the next you move on to the next as fast as you can so that you can end up with mr right or miss right very very soon finally let's talk about knowing that you've found the right person most of us just know but it's different for everyone 
generally there is this deep sense of connection you feel with them you're able to communicate openly honestly uh, you share all your deep dark secrets with them you share similar values and interests and you feel a sense of comfort and security around them so this is something that gives you this knowing that yeah this is the person for me and i'm gonna end up with them for the rest of my lives um so that is something you will just know it's like a gut instinct now where do you find these people to find meaningful connections with well first and foremost online dating let's face it everything is now online dating is also gone online so dating sites and websites have become quite popular and you can find people from all around the world on these um, dating apps you never know you might just get lucky if you follow that list and don't waste too much time on one single person make sure that check all of your boxes and then you take it from there but i would also su suggest that once you connect with someone online don't waste too much time chatting get on a phone call get on a video call even better or meet them in person if you're in the same city because what this does is it immediately lets you know whether you have a connection with the other person or not if there is no connection like i said you're not wasting any time you're moving on to the next person so if you're on a dating app and you meet someone get off your butt go meet them meet them in person get to know them properly spend some quality time and again don't go with any preconceived notions or expectations or any judgments even before you meet the person go with an open mind understand that each one of us are different we come from different um, backgrounds and with different expectations so go with an open mind this is very very important second place you can meet like-minded people are meetups meetups are these groups where you know people meet with similar interests suppose you like scuba diving then there's a meetup group for scuba diving if you like salsa dancing then there's a meetup group for salsa dancing so you get the drift right for any other interest that you may have there are different meetup groups and you can just uh, be part of the meetup group and go meet people up that's literally what it means um, go meet them up and see if you gel with somebody like-minded someone who probably shares the same interests like you and you can take it from there it's very very self-explanatory the other places that you can find people are usually in gyms especially if you are part of any workout sessions or group sessions like zumba classes or yoga classes or if you are part of a sports um, arena like if you're playing uh, tennis or you're playing basketball it's more easier for you to uh, come across people you might like and just connect with over similar interests so i would suggest all these places are really really good but sometimes you might just end up bumping into somebody at the supermarket also usually happens in a lot of romantic comedies doesn't really happen that often in real life um unfortunately in my experience but you never know so try the supermarkets as well right genius so there are so many different ways you can meet the one for you but you need to put yourself out there unless you are ready for a real romantic connection you will not be able to attract that same frequency and find the person you're looking for so you need to fall in love with yourself and understand truly who you are and what you want once that becomes clear and you know what kind of person you're looking for the rest just falls into place magically because that's how the universe works the universe finds the frequency matches the frequency with what you desire what you want and then manifests it in your life it's as simple as that so put in the work make that list put yourself out there go on amazing dates have a lot of fun and just be open it's all about being open being vulnerable letting yourself actually truly connect with another person without fearing rejection rejection happens to us all but how we deal with rejection how we respond to it it's such a game changer that is how all of this works so next time you want to get out there and start dating keep this in mind next week let's talk about when you go on the first date with this special someone that you're interested in what do you do how do you bond how do you create a connection what are the do's and don'ts of the first date this is going to be quite exciting 
So until next time, have a wonderful week ahead and don't forget, if you have questions about love, romance, sex or intimacy, do leave me a comment below on my podcast or reach out to me directly on tejapriyadarshini.com or you can also DM me on Instagram at tejapriyadarshini. I'll see you next week. Until then, bye-bye. Okay. Here we go. 3 2 1 1 1 1 This is Game Set Love. Tune in every Friday at 7 p.m.